What's up everybody, Craig here. So um, real quick, I just want to plug something before we get t started with today's video. Uh, so as you know, I don't monetize my channel. I'm not sponsored by anybody. I don't make any money off of this uh, whatsoever. This is just more or less a hobby because if you haven't figured it out uh, yet, I have a nine to five job already. I'm busy and sometimes more busier than uh, other times. And when I'm not busy, I, I put out content and I'm glad, you know, of for the, any support I get, and uh, I appreciate everybody who's been watching my videos and subscribing. But with that said, uh, I talked to the wife, and uh, during my travels over the last 17 years, uh, you know, I've uh, experienced a lot, and uh, we've been in interested in international adoption. So um, we're starting a campaign. Uh, so if you want to just check it out, uh, click right here. Any support would be great. Even just a thumbs up uh, would help. Um, but uh, you know, if you got a buck or two to spare, uh, we're starting a campaign, and we're hoping to adopt. Uh, again, it's a long process, but uh, we'll see where it takes us. So that's all I want to do is plug that real quick, and then we'll go ahead and roll into uh, today's video, which is the way I like to back up my computer. Now, everybody's different. It just means you're wrong. Just kidding. But uh, everybody's different, and you know, I get that some people like other things. Uh, uh, you, sometimes you bought extra hardware, external hard drives, what have you. But I like uh, the way I do things because I keep my stuff backed up in real time. Because we all know when Windows, uh, or any operating system, but mainly Windows, uh, decides to uh, take a shit, uh, it's always when uh, you're knee deep in something and then you realize you lost everything. And I can never seem to get automatic repair to work and to recover things. I got to work a couple times when I rebuilt some uh, some boot uh, stuff. But uh, anyway, uh, let's uh, kind of strain off the uh, path here. Let's uh, go ahead and start talking about ways that I back up. So basically ways that I back up, um, I use Dropbox. Now there's other uh, um, cloud services out there. Uh, you have uh, OneDrive, you have Google Drive. They're both really good. I like OneDrive a lot actually. Um, but Dropbox I like the most because it just seems the most fluent, um, the most compatible. It just works with everything, especially a lot of third party apps, mobile, desktop platform, whatever. Uh, it works, so I like it a lot. Uh, and the way I roll, and I'll go ahead and talk about Mac and Windows. Um, and the way I roll with Windows is basically I have a Cronus, um, and I tried to back up with a Cronus before and restore when Windows decided to take a shit, but I could never get it to work correctly. Drivers would always screw up. It would just be buggy, and some like audio wouldn't work, and I couldn't get it to the drivers to reinstall. So it was just a real big pain in the ass. So the way I roll now is I may I get my operating system my Windows operating system to the way I want I have uh, my settings set correctly I have my applications installed everything's working right and then I go ahead and clone it to another drive and I save that for a special day and then I point all my folder locations to my Dropbox folders documents pictures movies music whatever and so everything's in Dropbox so if I'm working on a document or whatever and I'm typing something up and Windows decides to take a shit well, the good news is, is it gets saved in real time. So um, if you notice Dropbox, it has that little uh, blue symbol letting you know it's syncing as it goes, and that little green check marks lets you know everything's already backed up. So that's a good thing. You never lose anything, and you're not dependent on basically waiting for your backup program or whatever to kick on at, I don't know, daily, weekly, monthly, however often that you back up. Another cool thing about Dropbox is Selective Sync. So Selective Sync's really cool because uh, nowadays we like to roll with um, you know, solid state drives. A lot of people are getting flash storage, solid state drives, but it's expensive, right? So a lot of people when they're choosing a computer, it could mean the difference between you know, a few hundred dollars. Uh, so they may get a 128 or 256 gigabyte solid state drive instead of the 512 with one terabyte. Um, and you know, if you're rolling with a low uh, capacity solid state drive, you can find out that that you know gets full pretty pretty quick. But the cool thing with Dropbox is, is not only do you have your web app that has the file explorer built in, and you can get to your files if you want to, but with Selective Sync, it lets you choose what is actually going to be taking up space on your hard drive. So, for instance, if you have uh, pictures from 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, right, and uh, you want to archive your 2014 and 15 uh, pictures. So you just uncheck 2014, 2015 on your, on your selective sync and then basically it's still there, it's still in Dropbox, you can click there and you can go in your web app and look for it, search for it, whatever, it'll be there, but it won't be taking up space on your hard drive. So on your hard drive you'll have your newest 2016, 2017 pictures and so 
that's a way to, especially with videos, uh, save money. Okay, real quick, so why is this backup method important? Well, um, for some of you that may just want to be on one solid state drive or hard drive, whatever, and do your time machine backup, so you got an external drive and you're happy with it, fine. That's good. But if you're like me and you dual boot systems, especially if you like Windows and games and you have two hard drives, or even if you have one hard drive partitioned, uh, the best part about this one is when everything's up in the cloud and Dropbox, you can choose which folders are on your system. Well, now you can have the same folder, music, the same folder on your Windows side and your Mac side, pictures on your Windows side and your Mac side, same folder, same data, and it's between both systems. So you're not duplicating data. So this is important because it saves you money. You're not wasting space on hard drives. Uh, now, depending how much data you use, um, you may want to purchase extra data space or storage space within Dropbox. Or if you want to get crafty, what you can do is get a Dropbox, get a OneDrive, get a Google Drive, get all kinds of stuff and then spread it out however you want to do it. I don't know. I just buy the one terabyte uh, through Dropbox and it works for me. So without further ado, let's get into this video and see how we're rolling here Okay, so as you can see um, I have my Dropbox uh, Program installed and uh, I have my browser up in the background as you can see with Dropbox open and uh, Like I said, um, so my preferred backup method I have a clone uh, once I got all my programs installed and uh, it's ready to go in case I need to go ahead and, and uh, clone the drive that I'm currently running if it uh, corrupts in any way uh, so that clones there it's safe it's good to go it has all my programs on it they're all activated and in case I add another program along the way it's no problem to add one or two but um, you know adding them all at once trying to restore is annoying but um, so as you can see um, I have Dropbox installed and um, my user folder so I created a uh, user account called backup test and um, there's my uh, user folder and there's my account backup test and as you can see um, here are my uh, user files so this is just your normal windows pictures documents movies all that good stuff right um, but also in Dropbox I have uh, this test computer files uh, and inside that uh, let's say I got um, I got here you go this test computer files right here I made documents movies music pictures right and so over here you can see and you can tell they're Dropbox files because they have the green check mark so let's bring this up uh, as you can see so let's start with uh, documents so you can see there's documents in there right now let's go to documents over here I made sure that there's two different files so you can see what happens so um, this is my user account folders and this is um, my Dropbox folders there's different documents in each one okay same thing with pictures so let's go ahead and go to pictures all right let's go to pictures in my Dropbox folder so you see there's different pictures so we got different pictures here okay so now I'm going to show you what to do and how to point it to the right location so um, let's go ahead and go back to our user folder so we can see all this and then you'll see these these change so um, I'm going to go ahead and go to my documents okay and then I'm going to hit properties and locations and I want to move this I want to move it to my Dropbox and so we're on documents so I want to move it here so I'm going to select folder and then it's going to ask me once I hit apply if I want to move all my stuff over there and I'm going to hit yes okay all right now what just happened we got two new documents there and as you can see uh, they had a, a blue uh, you know refresh uh, symbol there but now they're uh, here and I'll, uh, I'll make them large here um, it had a blue refresh and you'll see it on the next go around uh, but uh, now they're all green check marks which means they're all backed up all backed up in real time and that's the that's the purpose and uh, if you look over here where did documents go it's gone that's because the documents is now right there and so this as you can see with that little blue refresh symbol um, is my uh, Dropbox folder and now it's uh, upgrade uh, it's refreshing and it is now my new uh, thumbnail and it's where Windows points to for documents 
So let's go ahead and do the same thing for pictures, movies, and all that good stuff. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do a little faster here. Let's do some, uh, let's do some large icons. That way it looks better. Um, so pictures. Where are we at? All right, let's do pictures. Properties. Location. Move. Dropbox. Test computers. Pictures. Select folder. Apply. Move everything. And then look. Boom. Look at that right there. We're rocking and rolling. See how it's updating the pictures, and then it's going to give me a green check mark. There we go. Everything's backed up. Good to go. And so, like I said, everything's getting backed up in real time. This is good stuff. Now, the movie's going to be next. Now, that's going to take a little bit of time. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, point the, the movies in the right location. Again, let, let's look at it. So, two different movies. What are we at here? Two different movies, two different movies. As you can see from the thumbnail. Okay. So let's go ahead and point this. Here we'll rename that to videos. All right, I'm hit apply. Yep. Okay. All right, last but not least, music. And I'm not going to get into the folder because I think you got it by now, but I got two different uh, two different songs in there, two different songs in there. So you get you get it. Move. Dropbox. Computer. Music. Oh, let's go back. There we go. Apply. Yep, move it all over. Okay. So as you can see, now desktop and downloads are different. You're going to have to just leave them under user files, and that's fine. Uh, but as you can see, I got all new thumbnails right now when we pointed these to that location. Okay, now if you look, uh, what do we got here? We got the Dropbox folder, and what do we got there? We just got one file. Now, what's wrong with that? Uh, why isn't there all these files in there? As you can see, the test computer files is in there, but what, what, why won't the rest of them show up? And that's because I chose to. With Selective Sync, if you go down here and right-click, and then you hit the settings hit preferences count and selective sync you can then choose which ones you want to sync but I don't want to alright so now I got all my Dropbox folders and my files and all that good stuff they're all pointed in the right direction they're updating in real time and the cool thing is is if Windows decides to take a shit I'm not gonna lose anything all my files will be good to go um, so let's go ahead and uh, obviously uh, as you saw we didn't do desktop and, and downloads uh, so you might want to uh, uh, utilize those two folders and, and put things in your documents your music your pictures and all that good stuff and uh, keep your desktop clean and all that good stuff but anyway so uh, let's go ahead and fire up Mac and see how this plays into that. All right, so we're booting up Mac, and as you can see, um, over here, uh, this is also an account I made, uh, Test Backup. So basically, this is what's called the home folder. Now let's go ahead and go into the actual hard drive itself. So let's go into that, and we'll click Users, and then right here, uh, this is what's called a home folder, okay? so. I tried to drag it into Dropbox and it just gets all messed up so don't even try it um, but this is what's called your home folder now uh, as you can see see how it has all these cool icons you won't get those cool icons um, it's just uh, if you drag and see so you get those little cool icons um, this is just a sad part about the Mac side is that uh, it doesn't really work as smooth as the Windows side so I'm gonna remove that by uh, from the sidebar um, I'll leave this up here and then I'm gonna go ahead and bring up another window and I'll bring up Dropbox. So Dropbox, and as you can see, there's only one folder in there because that's what I chose. And remember, this is crucial if you're running a low uh, capacity solid state drive or flash drive or hard drive if you want to go. And um, everything's up in the cloud and you can keep it there for archive purposes and everything you need that you want to work with is right here. So it takes up less space and you can open your web app if you want to access older files. So I'm going to go ahead and go into this and we got our four files that we dealt with on Windows and all our stuff's in there. See, we got four documents now. We got four movies now. Everything's in there. So now I'm going to go ahead and drop this into here. And then videos. Music. And there we go. 
So now I got my sidebar working there. And so these are going to be uh, my files that I'm going to work with. Um, you can open a photo and go to preferences. And then actually, um, if you have, uh, you can move your um, iPhoto or photos uh, icon into your pictures album and then point photos towards it. But here, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll give you a good example um, of iTunes. So you can point applications to where you want to use uh, your stuff here let's go actually let's go into my music here and let's go ahead and do this okay so this is my Dropbox folder as you just saw I just uh, drug all those um, movies into iTunes and I'm gonna tell iTunes to go ahead and if I go to advanced I'm gonna change the directory I'm going to go to Dropbox, Test Files, Music. You know what? I'm just going to do this. So I'm going to hit OK. Um, and I'm not going to want you to copy or do any of that. I uncheck all of these. I, uh, I like that too. So um, uh, if you choose to copy, you're going to duplicate uh, files. I don't recommend that. And then if you do this, they'll start throwing stuff everywhere. It just depends if you want them to keep your stuff organized or not. I don't. So I'm going to hit OK. And as you can see, right here, let's do this. Um, we'll do, sorry about that. We'll do a control, uh, command O, and then we'll do this. There we go. Now we'll do that. Okay. So it, so it adds it. So that was command O, and it lets you add a folder. I added the folder. And now all our songs are in there. So as you can see, we pointed the library to that location, and we have all our songs imported into uh, iTunes. Same thing with photos. You can do the same thing with that. Uh, each... Uh, application should allow you to point uh, stuff like pictures, movies, whatever you got going uh, to the respective location. And the beauty about this setup is that once you, if you do dual boot systems, you have uh, both files. So I'm using the same music files on my Mac side and on my Windows side. I'm using the same videos on my Mac side and the Windows side. So I'm not duplicating files. Everything works perfectly well for me at least uh, if you like your your way of doing things and your way of backing up it's totally up to you but I think this is definitely an effective way of backing up especially the fact that Dropbox updates it in real time so this completes my tutorial on how I back up my system. Uh, but if you back up your system differently, let me uh, let me know what you're doing. Uh, let me know what uh, what you think's effective, and uh, just hit me up in the comments. And uh, you know, I'll take a look into whatever you got going. But I think this is a very effective way, especially if you're dual booting systems, and I like it. So that's a video I got for you today. I hope you liked it. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. If you didn't, go ahead and hit that dislike button. If you want more content like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And uh, also, uh, don't forget to uh, check out that campaign me and my wife are kicking off. Uh, we're really excited. We want to start this whole adoption process. So, hey, if you got a couple bucks, throw it our way. Uh, like I said, I don't monetize any of my videos or anything like that. So uh, this is more or less a hobby. But speaking of that, all the subscribers and all the viewers, I appreciate everything. I appreciate all the comments. I appreciate um, the views. And I couldn't uh, be more humbled to, uh, to keep putting out content and get the uh, response that it has. Uh, thank you for everything, and I'll see you later.